god. This elevator can be as tall as a rope pulley allows you to go, which is quite a lot. And since we'll be using a water wheel to power this elevator, it's completely affordable and survival friendly. Here are all the materials we'll need. The first two are just building blocks and their amounts depend on where we're building the elevator. This block right here is where the floor will be. I'll keep the floor empty because we'll build the elevator floor at the top, then bring it down. The distance between the floors has to be equal, so let's add a few floors with separators in between. The floors can be as tall or as short as you'd like them to be as long as they're equal. And I'm gonna make my floor 3 blocks tall for this tutorial. Now let's add the buttons. Each floor will get two buttons except the ground floor and the top floor. And now it's time to build the engine. First we place a rope pulley one block above the top floor. Then we're gonna put the super glue in our secondary hand and build the elevator floor. Now we place a sequence gear shift then a regular gear shift right behind the rope pulley. And before we configure the sequence gear shift let's finish building the engine. We're gonna go three blocks back and then three to the right and place the water wheel. Next we'll build a little case around the water wheel and add water to it. I like to use a slab on the side to get a little bit more speed out of the water wheel. Now let's place an adjustable chain gear shift and an encased chain drive, then power on the adjustable chain gear shift to increase the rotation speed. Now we'll do the same thing one more time. You can add as many of these or use a series of cogwheels to increase the speed as much as you need. Now we're gonna add some redstone links. Let's set a code for up and down buttons and then go ahead and place those redstone links with the same code behind all buttons. And we're on to the final part. We'll place the up redstone link on top of the sequenced gear shift. And then we'll place two repeaters going into both blocks. Now we place the down redstone link on this block. This pulse extender ensures that the gear shift remains powered on long enough for us to reach the floor below. Otherwise, the elevator would stop halfway in between floors. If you're running at lower speeds, you might need a longer pulse extension. And now we're on to the most important part of this build. Right click the sequenced gear shift and select piston in the first box. Then put in the height of the floor plus one to account for the floors. In our case, this adds up to 4 meters, and then we keep the arrow pointing to the outside and click the save button. And now we're all done! We can sit right here on our elevator floor and use our elevator. If you've enjoyed this video, you might enjoy some of the suggestions showing up on the screen. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time!